Welcome back, guys, to City Skylines. This is episode number seven. Number seven, right? Yeah, number seven. All right, so uh, we got a problem. We need a lot of residential space. Our population is actually declining a little bit. And there's a lot of buildings either abandoned or need workers over here. So that's going to be job number one. However, before we get to that, I guess technically it's going to be job number two. I've noticed that this exit ramp here is almost always totally full. Almost always totally full, and so I'm going to try to alleviate the uh, traffic pressure on that by creating another exit ramp. I don't want the upgrade tool. And I'm going to start here and then reverse it and see if I can get this to work. Slope too sli steep is what I'm hearing a lot of. Uh, okay, let's try... Let's try it. Can I do it here? There. Okay, and then we'll grab the upgrade tool. And right-click, right-click, right-click. There we go. Now people have a an alternate exit ramp to come down into the industrial area where I suspect a lot of, uh, a lot of the traffic is heading. Let me rezone that. Uh, hopefully that'll help. Okay, so let's make some uh, residential space. We extended the highway off down to there, and I'm going to make another highway exit, uh, a little bit better one, right around here. Uh, but before we do that, we need to extend our residential area so that uh, we don't have like a, a downward spiral of people being unhappy. Okay, and we need to basically very narrowly avoid that highway. Then just kind of come down here and do kind of something like that. There we go. Okay, and then uh, I think for all of this, I think I'll just use the small roads. I think that's probably fine. So I'll start here at the end. And do something kind of like this and have an, a lot of... Waterfront property can be pretty valuable. It can also lead to uh, flooding of your residents' houses, so I guess we need to be a little bit careful about that. And I'm just going to make kind of like a big loop through this section here, this woody place right here. Good. And this should provide a lot of new housing space. Okay, and just try to fill in basically all the all the gaps. Okay, and... Mm, okay, that's a little bit too close. I want to space out my intersections a bit. And never fear, it's not going to be one big loop. Uh, I am actually... I, I guess that's okay. I'm going to add some other roads here, little connecting roads. Um, just to make the traffic make a little bit more sense. Let's see if I can connect that. There. Uh, that's probably good. Okay. Um, now we need to do, before we add the, uh, the zoning, let's add the water pipes. Let's just... Let's cover this whole thing in water pipes. And let's lay a nice grid. In the long run, this will be a more efficient manner to have the pipes. There we go. Come on, connect. There, all right. Uh, that's lovely. Let's go ahead and zone all of that industrial, or not industrial, residential. So we can fix our little population problem. Not enough workers, and that's hard hurting our, uh, our potential income. Oh, this right here. Okay, so I'm going to actually unzone this, because this is going to... Probably, maybe this one, too. We're going to have problems. Now, I thought they added a... Um... Ooh. Did the water level rise with the river? Or did the road change? Like, what? see how this is looks like it's underwater? Is the water height of the river not a constant thing? It's not like I don't have any dams. So... So I'm wondering what 
contributes to that. That could be a problem in the long term. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. All right, anyway, let's keep zoning. Um, yeah, like some of these, I'm a little bit concerned. Let's just zone, let's zone all this stuff in the middle. And if I see, like, houses underwater, uh, basically I'll just demolish them and unzone that space. So let's just zone it all and just, we'll just fix it one house at a time. I have, I have noticed uh, flooded houses before when you build too close to uh, a river. And we might have to connect this to uh, some power as well. Let's look at the power. Oh no, power's fine because it connected right to that. Uh, and our power availability. All right, we've got uh, extra power output. But yeah, this is kind of, yeah, see, we've got, dang it. Uh, how do I fix that? I don't have the ability to make a dam. Like, even even if I made a dam here, the water's just going to overflow over the side and then flood all this anyway. That's actually kind of bad. If they get flooded, like, periodically... Yeah, look at the water. It's going up and down. It's rising right now. That's pretty crazy. Like, this tree. This tree <laughs> is getting flooded right now. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about that. As far as I know, there's not a mechanism for me to increase, like, the land height and that kind of thing. Eventually, we'll be able to make a, a, a an actual dam. But there's so many water sources. Like, I've got water coming down this mountain pass. Maybe if I dammed up this, that might help. But then the water's going to just spill down through this through this area. Uh, anyway, we have we have alleviated some of the problems. Uh, all these buildings are empty. Maybe we should just go through and demolish the empty ones. But now that we've got a lot more residential area, these should fill back up, I think. I think that's what'll happen. Uh, okay, which one are you? This one. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Okay, fine. Um, all that is still zoned, and now they just want... Yeah, okay, so our our little request bars have all dropped noticeably. I've got $8,000, so maybe I want to... We should probably expand the highway out. So let's grab this guy. And just try to get it to mirror what this one is doing. Yeah, like that. And that section right there is $10,000. So, I, oh, oh, dang it. Okay, we're 400 short. We're going to wait just a moment. Uh, I would like to create an exit ramp, which will help overall. There we go. And then this next section is going to be about 9,000. Yeah, about 9,000. So we'll just keep an eye on that and come back to it. Uh, okay, can I zone some more of this? This is this stuff in the middle here. They're not requesting the zone, but I think I'm going to go ahead and zone some of this anyway. Uh, and then unzone that a little bit. And then zone this blue, I think. Why not? There. Okay, um, so now they're, they're still requesting houses, even though there's all these empty houses. Uh, I would really like to make an, en an exit and entrance ramp for the highway right there. That would probably be good. So, let's see. $2,000. Power is fine for once. And the, uh, the water is fine. Let's take a look over here. Ooh, we've got a lot of empty buildings over here. What is going on? Do people just not want to work in the industry? Are they move? Maybe they're moving back over here. Because there's new houses close to here, so they created businesses closer to them. I'm not sure. It's a kind of a cyclical thing. But that is a lot of empty buildings all of a sudden. Um, in the long run, I'm not really too concerned about that, to be honest, because it, it will tend to balance itself out. But that is a lot of empty buildings. A lot of empty buildings. We're still making 3,000 uh, a week. 
But if that starts to go down, that can be a problem. So we'll just have to keep our eye on it. Um, the, the, <laughs> the flooding houses and the flooding road is kind of a big deal. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I'm going to do something about this. All right, you're all evicted. Goodbye. Sorry. I mean, I'm sorry, but what do you want me to do? <laughs> you are all getting flooded. This is now park space. Walk your dogs in here. Oh, and you moved out on your own. Good. There. Now nobody's getting flooded. Maybe I could connect this road through to there. Probably doesn't matter too much. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it anyway, though. Okay. Um... There. Okay, and if I zone... Oops. District. Get out of here. If I zone this, are they going to be underwater? I guess we'll find out. Um, some of this is probably going to be underwater as well. But whatever. Uh, we'll just... We'll try to fix it later. You just moved in. How are you doing? The Glade Residence. Zero of two. Uh, you're not happy. How is there zero people here? Did you move in and then move out? I don't know. Alright, we are up to $7,000. That's almost enough to build our next highway section. Uh, which will be good. Uh, maybe we should take a look at the area map. So we could buy another area. This area in particular has a lot of flat terrain. Uh, we might expand into here. We could expand into here and continue our kind of wavy thing. I think those are probably the two that make the most sense. Or we could buy this one way over here and just have like a totally separate settlement. That could This could be our uh, high pollution area. So if we expand this way, we could go basically like right up this hill with this road. Um, and then we could build an extra exit right there. But I'm thinking it probably makes the most sense to go this way. Let's look again at how much those cost. 5,000 versus... Oh, okay, they're both about the same. Both about 5,000. That one's 5,600, 9,000. All right, we're not getting that one just yet. Yeah, the 5,000 one makes sense. Okay, but now I've got enough money to extend our highway. So let's go ahead and do that. And just get it to look mostly parallel. There we go. All right, now it's parallel. Now we can put some entrance and exit stuff. Uh, I wonder if we should try to do like a roundabout underneath it. That's a pretty good way to have good traffic. So we want, um, let's just do six lane, one lane road. And I want it to be, let's page down here, put it down the ground. Want it to be basically a circle, but creating an exact circle can be real tricky. So um, that's not my main concern, is for it to be an exact circle. It just needs to be a a fairly okay looking ovally shape and that'll be fine it's, it'll look a little derpy but that's okay it's okay if it's a little derpy I think there are ways to make this look um, more like an exact circle I think you can actually turn on uh, not enough money. I think you can turn on a grid, actually. I'm not sure how to do that, or maybe that's a mod that turns on a grid. I know there's a mod that gives you exact angles. Okay, so that's a one-laid road going counterclockwise. So then we would need, like, a ramp coming down. Let's see, this guy's going, yeah, this way. A ramp coming down here and then coming off, and then this way coming down and coming off. And that's going to cost some money. I just want to keep an eye on... Okay, the power's fine, actually. I think because our population slowed down. Uh, we have a bunch of abandoned buildings that, that nobody's using. So that's actually good. <laughs> that's great. 
Um, the only problem is we're not expanding very fast. So I think after we get this part done, I think we are going to expand in this direction. Okay, let's go... I want to kind of go this way, and then page up. Uh, let's just see if I can do this. How far is it going to take to get up there? There we go. That's fine. That's fine. And then connect to that. Ooh, that's no good. That is no good. Why are you doing that? Uh, okay, let's start with a straight road. And let's page down. Come on. Give me the blue. Give me the blue. There we go. Come on. Makes sense. Uh, okay, let's go part way. Maybe we need to back up all the way here. Come on, man. Stop that. <laughs> Stop doing that. Okay, straight one. This will work. No, it's giving me the exact same thing. I think because um, this is the dead end, it thinks it has like a lot more space. And if we do it here, yeah, all of a sudden it give, it's giving us angles that make more sense. But if, if I do it like this, uh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough space. I mean, look at how much space that took. So we would need to be, maybe I just need to extend the highway more. Okay, come just shy of that knee, yeah, right there. Okay, let's just see if this will work. I might have to delete it. Yeah, okay, it won't work. Okay, so, fine. We discovered that it won't work, so what I need to do is extend the highway. This highway is going to be going... Did I say up through this mountain pass? Up through there. So it's kind of already going the right direction. It just needs to eventually go up there. I just need to extend it a little bit. Like that. There, and then let's upgrade and reverse that direction there. Okay, so that should give us enough space. Whew! <laughs> Tricky. Tricky, oh, I don't wanna upgrade. I do not wanna upgrade. Don't upgrade that. Okay, start from, like, way back here. There we go. Okay, now, yes. That's better. Start with one drop in elevation, and give me something blue that shows me it'll work. There we go. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on, it was just there. I just saw it. Okay, so there's one half of our roundabout entry and exit system, which will connect to our new residential. Actually, we could uh, connect you up right now. So let's give you... Mm, trying to think. I don't want any stoplights here, and if I connect it like this, it's going to give me stoplights. Uh, okay, let me hold off on that. Let's just hold off on that just one moment. Let's finish the entrance and exit ramps. Alright, that's good enough. Good enough. There. Hey, that side was much easier. There. Okay, so um, it's a little wonky looking, but it works. That's a roundabout off on-off system. Uh, no stoplights, so the traffic should be good there. Now, the only thing is to get from here to there, we're going to need uh, one-way roads, essentially. So let's grab this guy, I guess, and have him do this. Um, there. That's all one way. And still no intersections, no stoplights. Or, or do we have stoplights? Oh, we do have stoplights. Why do we have stoplights? This is supposed to be a roundabout. Is it because... Oh, what if I... Uh, okay, what if I upgrade this to that? No, we still have stoplights. And wow, that looks ugly. Can I... 
I cannot undo. Damn it. <laughs> wow, that's ugly. There. Okay, that's better. Uh, I'm not sure why there's stoplights there. Like, for instance, there isn't here. As you're going around this way and getting onto the on-ramp, it's just a roundabout. And it should be the same here. For whatever reason, it's not working like that. And I'm not sure why. I have no idea. Don't know. I, I think there is a way to construct it so that there wouldn't be stoplights, but apparently I did it wrong. Uh, okay, so anyway, how's, how's things been going in our city while I've been working on that? Um, if, if it's going to have a stoplight, see, this sort of defeats the whole purpose of the thing. And there's not one here. So maybe it would have to be... No, I already tried that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, that only gets people off the highway into this area. And they would need a way to get back. So... Uh, let's go... Let's extend this. To about there. Okay, and then if I have this go one way into there... Stoplight. Hmm. Now this also went from two lane to one way, so that doesn't make much sense. Uh, I'm wondering what the what the thing is. Maybe I'll fiddle with it off camera a little bit. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's uh, finish off some of this stuff. So this was going this way. And I would like to connect it up to here. Nearest intersection right there. So I could just do this. Like that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, and then get the small roads. And extend these out a bit. Okay, and then have like another diagonally guy. Kind of doing this. Yeah, that's good. And then just kill those little nubbins. Yeah, this is um not exactly what I had in mind. I mean, the shape is what I had in mind, but I was trying to get it to happen with no traffic lights. And I think what I'll do is I'll just look into that off camera. All right, what are they asking for? Basically nothing. Uh, I think next episode we are going to extend our highway, or not our highway, but our our total area over to here or here. I'm going to have to decide. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, they both have a pretty good amount of space. Probably doesn't matter. I guess we're going to do that one. I just decided. Just decided. Wow, there's a lot of empty buildings. Why is there so many empty buildings? Um, should we look at some of our graphs? Is there like... Is traffic too bad? No, it's not that bad. I mean, we've got a few choke points with the off-ramps. Happiness is okay. It's not awesome, but it's pretty good. Uh, pollution is pretty bad, but what do you expect in an uh, industrial area? Okay. Uh, power's still doing fine, because we haven't increased in population a lot. Although our population is going up again. And our monthly, our weekly income is going up as well. So I think we're on the raw, uh, the right track. Maybe I should go ahead and just, dem oops, I think I, dem I demolished one that uh, wasn't empty. Maybe I should just come in and demolish all the empty ones. Maybe that will facilitate a renewed uh, growth in our industry. If only politicians in real life took this tack. Just demolish everything. It'll fix it. Trust me. Oh, look, a tree popped up. Okay, got a few more. I think once these are empty, they don't get filled back up. You have to wait for a new company or, you know, a new building to move in altogether. So it'll get demolished eventually. But I think that's faster doing it that way. Okay. Uh, 6,000. Perhaps we should zone some of this. Yeah, okay, let's get some more commercial space underneath the, the overpass here. Like that. Good. And maybe this guy, too, because our overall, like, industrial needs are seem to be declining as our population becomes more educated. I think that might be a correlation. So I'm going to make all this, like, um, commercial space. 
And then industrial space, all this stuff right here. And all that. Uh, okay, and then uh, for some more houses, all this stuff. These little crappy things underneath the interstate. You gotta have some low cost housing, all right? That's just that's the reality. <laughs> it's the reality we have to live with. We need the low cost. I mean, who wants to live there? Somebody's gonna not have much money, and that's gonna be their only option. So really, I'm facilitating um, them doing something good with their life. Okay, uh, zoom out. Let's take an overall look. Fire safety. Okay, so I put the fire station here. My thought was that once we connected the road to this side, it would help extend the coverage, and it has. Um, I'm wondering if I could connect, like, a ro this road to that road. Somehow, that might be too steep, but I don't think that would even help. What would help is a road from here to there. And probably f same thing with the fire. The fire is... Or the police is slightly better. Uh, healthcare... Okay, a lot of that's not covered, but oh well. And then the schools? Oh, it looks like we need another elementary school, like, way over here. Although, if I do connect this road up... Like there... Or there... That would help a ton. Let's see if I can do that first, before I spend a lot of money on a new school. Can I even do that? Bam! Take that! Alright, let's take a look again. Yeah, it helped a little. <laughs> we still need one over here. Alright. Uh, I guess I will build one then. Or, not a school, it's a, uh... Yeah, an elementary school. There we go. Okay, so that's better covered. That'll improve our education. Uh, and I, that didn't really help the fire coverage much. We really need something, like, right there. Let's see if I can do that. Too steep. Never mind. All right. Uh, we will just fix that later. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Next episode, we are going to buy this property and move that away. And expand aggressively. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Here's uh, like an overall map view of our city. Kind of looks like spaghetti. Hope you're enjoying the series. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.